Well, I'm Frederik Klaassen, I'm Director of Ecological Management uh, Foundation and uh, together with Allard Sticker we initiated this project Sujol. What we want to do is to provide them safe water and sweet water that tastes well and we hopefully uh, have some money in our company to continue that, to speed it up and to bring water to more than 30,000 villages in Bangladesh. Sujol is also about uh, working together with different parties. So I'm Mark Charmer, I'm a co-founder of ACVO and um, I'm involved with the Sujol project. Sujol is a really interesting social enterprise and there's about 750 million people in the world that, that, that don't have access to clean water and actually in Bangladesh alone it's like 70 million. It's like 50% of the population there doesn't have access to safe water. The idea is, you, you know, how do you build out local networks of commercial businesses that can provide clean water to people? It's really dr socially driven rather than technologically driven. My name is Thomas Schuurmans. I'm the director of Proportion. And Sujol is a project in Bangladesh. It means, in Bengali, good water. And what we aim is that in the coming 10 years, selling clean and safe water in 30,000 villages. Current water is contaminated with arsenic, which is death cause number one in uh, Bangladesh. My name is Frodo, I'm working for ACFO. Sujil means good water. We're trying to solve uh, the arsenic problem in Bangladesh. Uh, we're trying to bring two worlds together uh, as the social element of bringing a new technology in the community. So we've tried to involve communities by setting up their own business in providing um, better or let's say good water for the community. I, as we were busy um, on this micro water facility and looking for small scale solutions but also at the same time on a large scale to apply them on a large scale, <laughs> we were also thinking about in developing country might, we might in the future link small scale solutions on water with microfinance. And there was an article in The Economist with an interview with Iqbal Qadir. He created a Grameen phone company. Oh, yes, yeah. So yeah. he is a man who knows everything about microfinance yeah. and how to start with small things and do it on a big scale. Yeah. In his interview, he said, we have been able to make a success of a small-scale technology, which is a technology which we have developed in the West, but can apply it immediately in developing countries, like in Bangladesh, and couple it with microfinance and then we went ahead and it has been a success. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, and eventually I think we should also start to look at this for small-scale water. So then I thought, hey. <laughs> I tried to trace him through internet and through friends and so on. And finally found him, he was on holiday with his family in Geneva. I told him just by telephone, I'd like to meet you because I have, I have, I have read your article and we work on small-scale water solutions, but we know nothing about microfinance. You know everything about microfinance, and we and you know nothing about water. Why don't we combine the forces? Yeah. Well, I'll fly back. When we fly back, I'll make a stop over in Amsterdam. I'll see you there for an afternoon. And then he stayed for two days <laughs> here. And we talk all the time. <laughs> so we more more and more we could narrow it down to a social issue being resolved with the help of a technical issue. Yeah. The vision of it that's the, the, that began it to where it is now, yeah. um, that's how, how, how it's got a long way to go, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and I, I think the, the most important thing was, of course, but number one, that it is a sustainable solution and not a one-shot deal that uh, after a month everybody forgets about it. Uh, the second thing is we must of course, and that's always the same with new technologies, nothing new about that. But if you have a new technology which you apply in a new field, you will have problems. And you must have patience and, and sometimes you must have money as well. We have three major shareholders now in Voltaire who are, who are uh, strong. There's Unilever, Rabobank and Pentair. Pentair is a very big American company. We have strong shareholders, we have shareholders who believe in the technology. We have had problems and we still have sometimes problems. Yeah. Everybody is, of course, excited and yeah. irritated by that. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, you must go. If you believe in it, go on, go on, go on. But anyway, what I always say, our foundations are not for profit, but also not for loss.